Hey folks, so I'm going to be doing another video on my house remodel. Like I said, I'm going to try to shoot more of these so that those of you who follow my electronics and my aquarium stuff know that I'm not just ignoring you. I, I spend a significant amount of my time working on my house when I'm not working for, for my income. So um, I'm working on crown molding. So you can see this crown molding right here. and. What I'm doing is I'm, I'm taping it off and, um, you know, it's possible to cut this in without taping it off, but the, the problem for me is it requires intense, intense mental concentration. That makes my hands hurt because I've, I've been diagnosed with carpal tunnel in both hands, um, so it's a casualty of being in the computer industry. And um, so what I find is I can tape this off and then I can just use an inexpensive chip brush to very quickly fill in the paint and, and move on with the project and it's just real quick and easy. So I'm using what I would refer to commonly as 3M worthless blue tape. Um, and I say it's worthless because primarily it doesn't like to stick to anything. It happens to stick to this, to this um, trim paint pretty well, but beyond that, this stuff's absolutely worthless. And um, part of the reason it won't take paint off is because it doesn't stick to anything. So um, this goes pretty quick and, um, you know, I, I realize that some of you may go, oh, I can touch it up with a $40 paintbrush. Good for you. I could too, but I don't like to buy $40 paintbrushes. And more importantly, I don't like to spend 20 minutes cleaning my paintbrush. It's easier to use a 30 cent disposable chip brush and just move on. You know, you got to ask yourself sometimes, what's more important? cleaning paint brushes or getting it done? I know what my answer is. All right, friends, so I've got my crown molding taped off and I'm gonna go ahead and paint it. I'm wearing uh, five mil nitro gloves. You can use anything from three mil on up. Harbor Freight typically puts these on sale. I think these were $6 for a box of 100. So for 12 cents, I don't have to go wash my hands after I'm done painting. I'm using uh, an inexpensive Harbor Freight two inch chip brush. They sell these box of 36 for about $9. So that works out to 30 cents. And then I'm using a little paint tray and um, I've got a box of, or I've got some paper towels there. So I've got these little paint trays and what I do when I'm not using these, um, I either wash them out when I'm done with them um, or I put the whole thing in a gallon size Ziploc bag and um, that keeps it uh, fresh until I'm ready to use it again and it actually keeps it from drying out and the paint from going bad. Um, you can also use a trash bag or any other small plastic bag. It is an absolutely fantastic way. You can actually do this with rollers too. You can take the whole roller tray and the roller with the cover on it and just stick the whole thing in the, in the trash bag and fold it underneath and it'll keep it from drying out in between coats. And then the other thing I do is I look for stray white dots or places that I have. Sometimes when you spray texture, you'll get a blob of it like that. And I just pick these off and just paint over them. And um, if they're particularly bad. You only want to dip like the first eighth of an inch of the brush into the paint. It does not take a lot of paint to do this. Okay, so now that I've got the paint done, the last step is to remove the tape. And I'm still wearing my gloves. And so this makes it relatively easy to just get up here and pull the tape down. And then 
just drop it in a trash can, and that's really all there is to it. Um, so I'll go ahead and take the rest of this down. I really appreciate you watching my video, and I hope that this has been informative and entertaining for you. Feel free to share my video, comment if you have something nice to say. If you don't have anything nice to say, there's a little X in the upper right-hand corner of your web browser. You just go ahead and click that. That's, that's how you tell me you don't like me. And uh, have a great day.